The Bible tells us Jesus had a final Passover meal with his disciples before going to the cross. The Cenacolum on Mount Zion is the traditional site, but is this where it really happened? Christian pilgrims from all over the world come here to the upper room to remember the Last Supper of Jesus Christ. Now Israeli archaeologists know more about this site than ever before. The Last Supper room, which is in the, in the middle, in the core of Mount Zion, is one of the most holy places in Jerusalem. It is out of reach to archaeologists because it's sacredness. We couldn't conduct here clear and classical archaeological excavation. So they turned to state-of-the-art technology to uncover the upper room secrets. Using ground penetrating radar, laser measurement, laser scanning, and an advanced photography technique, we managed to reach every corner of the Last Supper room. We managed to create an accurate 3D model of the place. We even managed to penetrate inside the ancient stones. For years, many wondered, when was the room built and is it the real place? Suddenly, we needed to decipher signs and symbols from the wall. Suddenly, we managed to date it, and this wonderful structure is dating to the Crusader period. Archaeologist Amit Ra'em said they discovered two biblical symbols never before seen in the upper room. Now I'm pointing toward the keystone of the Gothic arches. And on the keystone, where nobody saw before, you could see the Holy Lamb, the Agnus Dei. And the Holy Lamb is holding a flag, the victorious flag. Jesus holds the victory flag. On another keystone, there's a lion. You could see the leg and the head is a little bit broken. The lion actually is a symbol of King David. Now we know according to the Bible that Jesus is a descendant of the Davidic dynasty. Underneath the 12th century Crusader church, there's evidence of a magnificent 4th century Byzantine church. This church possessed many, many relics. According to the traditions and the story, the crown of thorns was here. And maybe the Byzantine built their church on much earlier and ancient sacred site. For many, visiting the upper room is a moving experience. But when you told me about the new technology, it moved this place, in my estimation, from a possible to a probable. Surprising and exciting. It's fantastic. It's like this place has the power of the presence. Is like a different note on the scale of the Song of God. Being in Israel during this season and then being in places like the Upper Room just make a huge difference in my faith. Re'em says it's too early to know if this is the place Jesus had his Last Supper with his disciples. But he said he's learned one thing as an archaeologist about traditions. The tradition regarding the Last Supper room is very, very old. It's go back for centuries. Hear this ancient tradition. Explore them because inside them is embedded, is hidden some truth. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, The Upper Room, Jerusalem.